Everybody, three, two, one, go. Da, 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 da. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Acres Lawn Care here. How you doing? So, got a new job. We are in the garden. So what we're going to do today is we are going to be just tidying up this bed. Um, we took this job over from some other gardeners who just the customer wasn't happy with. So we're going to be creating and clearing this bed, making sort of redefining it. There's Gary. Hello. Morning. Morning, guys. How you doing? All right. Morning, yeah. yeah. Living in beautiful weather today. I oh, know. The sun is shining in the sky. <laughs> the sun is shining in the sky. Right, guys. Let's get to this. You didn't lock it just now, did you? No. So we start off by just going to get the leaves out of the bed. I know some of you might be thinking, I'll oh, just leave them in there because it's great for the bed. Yes, it is, but what we're going to do is we're going to take them out and put them in a compost bin. Cup of tea to Cup warm tea. me out. <laughs> Whatever they warm. Yeah, oh, man. This is Gary's second winter. Yeah, it is. It yeah, is, man. it's getting cold. God, do you remember how we first met? Yeah, I do, actually. Yeah. Yes. Gaz. Hello? You alright, mate? Where have you been, man? You're stepping in dog shit. What? Oh! <laughs> Okay, so how did this job come about? So this job, we got this job from a recommendation from another customer. All my jobs come from recommendation. I don't advertise at all and it works for us. Uh, we don't really, we take on a couple of jobs every year and recommendations or if I'm doing a, a job in, a, in the local area and someone comes up and notices what I've been doing and asks if we can come and give them a a quote then that's another way we do it but we don't advertise at all i don't have a sign written van um it's just not really something i've ever had and it works for me doing it this way unless you know all of a sudden i lost tons of customers then yes i would have to go out and advertise but for now it's working perfectly start off by cutting back some of these daisies you can see below you've got all this new growth coming in at the bottom Just be careful not to cut back this sedum just yet. These are the ones I talk about that go black. Quite like it when they go black here. Just gives the garden something a little bit different. You can usually wait for these to go completely dead, kind of like that. Um, but with the new growth coming through, I tend to just cut them away because I feel like it just looks a little bit neater anyway. Before we usually take a job on, I always get the customer to send me a picture of the job just so I know what I'm sort of going into. And I can get an idea of what sort of plants are in there as well. So, you know, I'm always forgetting plants, names, but I can just sort of go over it and just do a little bit of studying. So when I do go in and sell myself, I can sort of say, right, this is this plant, this is what's going to happen with this in this time of year and so on. And I think that's really important. Forget me not, so i leave that one in. Just nice blue flower coming into sort of February time. Go through, try and leave what I can. Uh, normally they will come back up anyway. So. Mombrisha there, which this time of year you can just scrub out so you tug at it normally it would just come out anyway 
cool. Look at the size of that one. And that will come back again next year. This here is quite low. So what we will do is just give this branch here. And we discovered a rose here, so I'm gonna cut this rose back. See what I've done, so just lifted the skirt here just to allow it to basically anything underneath it's not going to be sort of shadowed as well. So the Mombrisha now might stand up a little bit better next year um, as it's kind of sort of squashing it down a bit. Bina here. This stuff's great at the back of beds. Um, as you can see, this one's right at the back end of the fence line, which is perfect. So, in the summertime, when it it's standing up and just hanging over the top, so always talk about that tier. So make sure that you're, you're planting sort of something like the Bina. You can have it ground at the back, so you just see the little bits of purple popping out the top. At the minute. I'll leave this, I'm not gonna to touch it. I might just hook it back up again for the minute and then it would die off and then come back again next year. <laughs> So far, looking a bit better. Been instructed that we don't mow the lawn here. Um, husband likes to do it, so we're just doing the things that other people don't like to do, basically. And that's all the weeding and getting in there. And digging it all over. We need a trowel, man. What do you need a trowel for? The... It's just easier to work with. Yeah. Instead of like using Bigger tools more like small bits. Yeah. Is it not in there? I swear it is. I don't know, man. <laughs> oh, like, it's like. Yeah, oh, I can feel it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, 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 irri it's not enough to like. It's irritating me in the sense that it's. Just annoying. <laughs> just annoying, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know, yeah. Yeah, it's, it, yeah, it took me about like a week or so to get that recovered or something. Let's see what we've got here. It's broken. Isn't it? okay. Okay.
had it for now, like two days, is it? Uh, about, I think about a week now. A week. I can't remember how I did it. I feel like I might have done it like, when I was laying on the floor at home with Noah. Right, I just pulled it. Yeah. Just need to rest it, mate. Oh, uh, no, that's a problem. And, and, and just keep stretching it. Yeah. I've been icing it as well. I'm not sure whether you're supposed to ice it or whether you're supposed to heat it. I think you should be heating it. Is it? You don't want it to stiffen up, you know. <laughs> well, this is the thing. I don't your shoulder's going to be like this. Yeah. <laughs> Broken. <laughs> what do you think, guys? Shoulder injury, ice or warm? I think, is it supposed to be, because when I had my bad back, he was just like, oh yeah, ice it, don't put heat on it. I was like, okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it depends, I think, you know. I don't really know, to be fair. Personally. Or is it, as soon as it's happened, you put heat on it? I don't know. I don't really know either. I think it's ice if you're resting it. If you're working, probably, maybe heat? Maybe, yeah. So obviously heat will allow the muscle to probably relax a bit more, won't it? While, while working, yeah. yeah. Well, I guess in a way, makes sense, actually, well, it makes sense that. that ice is for obviously inflama inflammation, isn't it? Yeah. So try and, like, it's like when you twist your ankle, you ice it, don't you? Because it's like... Yeah, you go to Antarctica and put your leg in the fucking water <laughs> <laughs> and freeze it to death. <laughs> yeah, something like that, though, isn't it? Yeah. Something like it. I actually hate stuff growing over the lawn. It's just oh, like, it just makes it look messy, man, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Especially this growth here, whatever that is. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Where did this mound come from? It's called garden acne. <laughs> <laughs> He's a teenager. Like <laughs> <Bye, for real. laughs> Like, I know it was there last time, but it's like... <laughs> no, I know. You've got the small hole, I've got the big hole here. <laughs> Over the moon? Yeah, the moon is there as well on the edge. So I'll cut it right back a bit. Take it out completely, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Is that what I heard? <laughs> yeah. Well, what we do, we we'll just split it. Yeah. Split it up, mate. Just like my hair. <laughs> Shall I cut it out? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I need to remember it's uh, family friendly content. Family <laughs> content. <laughs> Damn, just about like maybe 18 plus. <laughs> oh, optimal garden maintenance. <laughs> With Gary. <laughs> The only cement stuff. <laughs> if Gary had it his way, this would all be tennis courts. <laughs> it's all about the use these days. We like to uh, keep them, you know, healthy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> keep them off the streets, meet new friends, potentially do more drugs. <laughs> <laughs> That's the trade off. <laughs> what Gary meant to say is don't do drugs. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, man. I don't do anything. No. We've never done... I've, well, I've never done drugs. Neither yeah, is Gary. Maybe not if you've never done drugs, no, Everyone you? does drugs, man. Everyone takes medicines, isn't it? Paracetamol, ibuprofen. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Like the other day. That's what I call it, a drug store. And an ibuprofen at the same time. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Let's just say my back felt great. <laughs> <laughs> Can't remember what happened. <laughs> there are nine million bicycles in Beijing. <laughs> You're like, shut up, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs>
I'll just start raking, I'll just start raking, I'll just start... Just give my knees a little bit of a rest, then. Yeah, I'm going to blow some more of these leaves up. Go on, Ricky. 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 Go on,
we've run out of bags and we filled the green bin. So, and there isn't a compost bin. For some reason, I thought there was a compost bin. I, for some reason, I thought she said there was a compost bin, but there's not. Um, so we've just piled, left the leaves piled up so they can do it. She, the customer did say, if you get time, do some leaf clearing. So what we've done is just piled it up so they can finish off putting it in the bin. And then this is it then. So just a little, little bit of work, tidying up and stuff, getting ready for autumn. Not too bad, it's getting there. Lovely jubbly. Cheers for watching guys. Thank you so much. Take it easy and have a good one.